Hi, everybody. Welcome into Tuned Into NoCo. I'm Ashley, and today we have a few awesome people on our show to talk about Cookies for Kids Cancer and their upcoming Galaxy Cookies fundraiser. We have the executive director and founder, Gretchen Holt-Witt, and we also have the baker herself, Daniela Ortiz, and her mom, Jill Bernardino. So first off, guys, thank you so much for being on our show. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Now, any of you guys can answer this question. To start, can you just tell us a little bit about about what Cookies for Kids Cancer is all about. Well, I'm happy to take that one. Um, and thank you as well for having us um, on. You are you are the you are what helps us do what we do because the more people who know, the more people who want to get involved. So thank you. Of course. I love it. <laughs> With that said, um, Cookies for Kids Cancer is an organization that my husband and I started after our two and a half year old son, Liam, was diagnosed with stage four cancer. At the time he was diagnosed, we did not know that cancer was the number one and still is the number one disease killer of kids in the U.S. It kills more children than asthma, AIDS, MS and MD combined. And yet it receives one of the smallest slices of funding from um, our tax dollars, um, which fund National Cancer Institute cancer research. And somehow that just didn't seem right. So at a point in time when my son was cancer free, we were so, 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 so grateful and so excited that he had achieved that goal that um, we decided that we wanted to help other kids and, and help raise money for a treatment that was in development. So we had the idea to bake 96,000 cookies, which seemed like a really reasonable thing to do at the time. Um, I will say, and we can save this for another <laughs> interview, but it was a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be, but we oh, wound goodness. up being... <laughs> It's a lot of cookies. (laughs) Yeah, it was a lot of cookies. Um, But we actually successfully did it with the help of 250 volunteers, wound up raising over $420,000. But in the process, realized that we had hit a nerve with people and we would come up with a way to talk about a really difficult topic, kids who get cancer, in a way that would bring people in by talking about good cookies. And in my mind's eye, I hoped that one day we would be able to connect with other people. So fast forward... Um, we will be celebrating our 15th anniversary coming up in December. We've granted over $18 million. That $18 million has helped to make 25 new treatments available for kids. Wow. The very first treatment that became available is the one that the 96,000 helped to support. That one became available seven months after Liam wound up losing his battle. Um, but today, thousands of kids have received that treatment. Um, the 15,000 grassroots events that have been held in all 50 states and 24 countries around the world are just, are are the thing that fuel our fire and to be able to connect with Daniela and Jill is just like, that's what it's all about because if it light, like lots of hands make light work and, and we're, we're so grateful that they not only heard the story, but were moved enough by the story to get involved. Yeah, that's incredible. Now They're incredible. They're, yeah. They are amazing. Seriously. Now, Cookies for Kids, you guys are teaming up with Jill and Daniela to put on the Galaxy Cookies fundraiser. This is the seventh annual seventh bake sale. Annual. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. So this is going to be happening September 4th and 5th. Uh, Daniela, what should people know about this event? Um, it is at our house, uh, 4195 Lyric Falls Court in Loveland, and it is both days, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And stop by and we say hello. Yeah. And we are baking 50 dozen cookies this year. Wow. May become more. Yeah. So did you have any help to do that? Do you guys need volunteers or is it just uh, you, you and mom? It has been a two-man band for the <laughs> years. That is impressive. That is really impressive. Now, is there a certain number you guys hope to hit? What's your goal for this fundraiser? Um, For this year, our goal is $18,000. But last October, we met with Gretchen and she challenged me to raise $100,000 cumulatively by the time I graduate high school (laughs) in four years. That's amazing. So you're going to keep on doing this. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, for people who would like to attend, do they need to RSVP? How how can they go about that? Nope, just show up between the times. Um, there is more information at my.beagoodcookie.org backslash galaxycookies2022. 
Perfect. Okay, so you mentioned how much you'd like to raise your goal with the next four years, $100,000. That's awesome. Where exactly does this money go? I know it goes to Cookies for Kids Cancer. Where do you guys distribute that? So we distribute the money um, via the guidance of a separate medical advisory board that reviews grant requests that are received from the leading pediatric cancer research hospitals across the country. They then get together and review the grant proposals and use the same criteria that the National Cancer Institute uses to evaluate the merits of each grant request. And then they make recommendations to us about where the money should go. To be honest, I want to have nothing to do with that part of it. And I think it's also probably an, an important data point to mention that there are dozens of kinds of pediatric cancers and the cancers that kids get are totally different than the cancers that adults get. Something I didn't know until my son was diagnosed. Yeah. Like no idea. Um, So that's one thing that is very important to mention, but also we support any kind of pediatric cancer, not just one specific kind. And that's important to me because the heartache that I feel as the mom who has lost a child is the same heartache that a mom who has lost a child to another kind of cancer feels. And so to me, it's about funding the strongest science. And I think the proof is in the pudding when you look at the results um, of the number of treatments that have that we have been successful in helping to bring across the finish line because of the advice of our separate medical advisory board. Absolutely. Well, I was not aware that kids have different types of cancer. I know. Nobody knows that, right? That's super interesting. Well, Um, and here's another one. Did you know that September is Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month? I didn't. See? Yeah. I call it Pediatric Cancer Unawareness Month because (laughs) nobody knows. Seriously. Well, now hopefully more people will. That's absolutely. That's awesome. So you guys, you're... We're doing this to raise money. You don't need volunteers because you guys are going to bake all cookies just by yourselves, which is pretty incredible. What types of cookies are you making? So um, we have the sheet because I don't remember. (laughs) Okay, so we have chocolate chip cookies, dog cookies, which is something new this year. So we're going to see how that goes. Oh, so people Um, can bring their pets. Yeah, so people can bring their pets if you really want to. Um, We have uh, vanilla cupcakes. We have snickerdoodles, cake pops, chocolate cake pops, chocolate pretzels, coconut macaroons, which are historically the favorite, um, banana muffins, oatmeal chocolate chip, and peanut butter cookies. Awesome. Well, that sounds great. Um, Now, this is your seventh annual bake sale, so can you tell our listeners a little bit about how last year went? Okay. The numbers... (laughs) Um, last year it was a very fun year because we had, we were still like struggling with COVID at that time. So, um, we raised last year $23,000 and we baked 56 dozen cookies. No way. So quick question. When do you guys start cooking these cookies? Like, is it in the wee hours of the morning? Like (laughs) when do you, when you get that done? Um, so our bake sale is obviously on Sunday and Monday. So Saturday, all day we are baking. Yeah. And sometimes even Friday night, we start baking, um, and preparing, uh, stuff. And even sometimes Thursday, if we really have to, but that's our, usually our routine. That's awesome. All right, you guys, for those who are listening, we have the Galaxy Cookies fundraiser. It's benefiting cookies for kids cancer. This is happening September 4th and 5th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 4195 Lyric Falls Court in Loveland. Sounds like they have a great lineup of, of cookies that you can choose from. They also have cookies for your pet, so feel free to bring your pet along. Um, if you want more information, you can go to my.beagoodcookie.org slash Galaxy Cookies 2022. If you want more info on Cookies for Kids Cancer, just head to their website, cookiesforkidscancer.org. So now let's kind of switch gears here. Let's talk about the three of you. So starting with Daniela, what is your story? How did you get started with this fundraiser? So I started in the third grade when we first moved to Colorado. Um, for the second time, for the second time around. And um, I, right before I moved, I was talking to my mom about how I wanted to um, always do like a, 
lemonade stand or something along those lines. And uh, she ordered cookies for her boss from Cookies for Kids Cancer one day. And she told me um, after doing some research on the organization about how you can get involved and that there's a 50 state challenge and they want to have um, a bake sale in every state. And uh, that for some reason clicked something in my brain and that made me decide that I had to do it. So um, that year was a start. It was very interesting um, compared to what we do now. We made six dozen cookies that year and we raised $400 that year. Um, and it was really special because it was how we got started out. And uh, something that was interesting is the houses down the street weren't built yet. So the construction workers over there would come and buy cookies from us. Uh-huh. That's us. awesome. That's great. And Jill, when you found out about this, what was your first reaction? Well, you know, I she loves to bake. Um, so that was like a no brainer. And she had been harassing me for a really long time um, about doing some kind of a sale. And she was only seven. So that meant that that was going to all fall on me. And I, I guess <laughs> right. I was usually prepared at first. Um, but I just knew it was going to be a good fit. And she fell in love with the organization and um, just as a compassionate person to begin with. So it, it was an ideal fit. And each year it just has continued to progress more and more. For sure. That's incredible. I love it. Now, Gretchen, same question. How did you get involved? Obviously, you're the founder, so I know you kind of touched on it at the beginning of the interview, but can you go into a little bit more detail? Um, well, when I became the mom of a child with cancer, I um, my eyes were opened in terms of, of what the needs were. Um, I, Like I said, I had no idea that... Cancer is the number one disease killer of kids in the U.S. That it gets less than four pennies of every dollar that is dedicated towards research. And yet we worry about everything that has to do with our children from the food they eat, the clothes they wear, to the sunscreens on their body. And yet we literally throw pennies um, at the number one disease killer. So that was, that was my, my call to yeah. action. For sure. It seemed like we could be doing better by kids. And I, and, you know, and I knew, I knew that this was a communications challenge. Like n- nobody wants to talk about cancer. Nobody wants to talk about kids who get cancer, but there isn't anybody I know who doesn't want to talk about good cookies, whether it is an actual cookie or it is the concept of being a good cookie, which obviously I'm looking at two really good cookies, Daniela and Jill. And so if that is the way, if that was, if a, Talking about a good cookie was the way to break through the ice and to get the conversation going and open about a really difficult topic. Then there you go. For sure. Well, you guys, thank you so much for sharing. Gretchen, another question for you. So you have the 50 state challenge. Is this an annual thing? Um, So it, we have done the 50 state challenge in the past. Um, the 50 state challenge is not going on this year, although okay. I'm very open to all 50 <laughs> states being available. But actually in September, um, I should mention we are kicking off well, a campaign that we call Bake a Difference. Okay. And the Bake a Difference campaign is supported by a company named Oxo Good Grips, and they match every dollar up to a hundred thousand wow. dollars. So if you give five dollars um, at Daniela's bake sale, that equals ten. Ten dollars equals twenty. So every dollar that they raise is being matched up to a hundred thousand um, dollars, and that's just an amazing way to see your dollars go further. Yeah! Wow, that's amazing. Another reason to go buy some cookies, you guys. Um, Now, we were talking about donating. If somebody, say, cannot make it to your house to pick up some cookies, but they still would like to donate, what should they know? We have our website and we are fundraising throughout the month of September. That is our big thing because it is Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month. Um, So you can visit our website to donate at my.beagoodcookie.org backslash galaxycookies2022. Perfect. You guys heard that. Go head to their website, donate, help them reach their goal. It's for a great cause and you also get cookies. So what's not to like? Thanks again, you guys, for taking the time to speak with me today. Is there anything else you'd like our listeners to know about what you do or the event? I would like just to add that. And I think this is really important because when people donate, um, sometimes they're skeptical. And especially if they come to 
our house in the front of our yard at a bake sale and they're thinking of leaving cash. Um, it's so important to know that she does not get one penny from this. Every single penny goes straight to cookies for kids cancer. Um, so much so that it's also September is also her birthday month. And she has been known to when she gets, you know, grandma and grandpa sent her a little gift. <laughs> she is known to give part, if not all of that to cookies for kids cancer as well. So I think for my husband and I, that's the most important thing that everybody knows is that not a penny. She doesn't keep it. Nothing. Um, it all goes to an amazing cause. That's awesome. What about you, Gretchen? Is there anything else you'd like our listeners to know? Um, probably just the fact that it does every dollar counts and it doesn't matter if it's a dollar, $10, a hundred dollars, every dollar counts. And I, I think that we are all so conditioned, um, and, and to some extent cynical to think that there's nothing that we can do to help. Um, especially against something as big as cancer, you know, like, well, what can we do? You know, like right. that, that, that requires, you know, like hundreds of millions of dollars type of thing. And yet what I can tell you is that our funding model is one that it counts. If my son had lived another seven months, he would have been able to see, receive that treatment that we helped to fund. Um, we meet kids every day who are alive because of treatments that are now available because of Daniela and, and her, uh, her co like co-partner, you know, Jill's bake sales. And so it really does make a difference. And I think, you know, it, there's so much, there's so many hard things that are happening right now that this is something that is good and it makes you feel good, but more importantly, it does good. Um, and I, I, I wish I had had the idea seven months earlier to bake 96,000 cookies because if I had thought about it seven months earlier, then maybe my son would still be alive today. Um, but I'm doing what I know that he would want us to do. And I know that in spirit, he is with Daniela and he's with Jill and he is cheering them on. And this is, this is what, this is the right thing to do. And this is the good thing to do. So for sure. Well, thank you again so much. I do have one more question for you, Gretchen. Do you sure. have a statistic possibly of the, the number of kids that you've helped get treatment? You know, because of HIPAA laws, it, it's really, really, really like, no, no, because of HIPAA laws. I mean, I can tell you sense. like thousands, um, but we, 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 cannot get unless a family reaches out to us and says like we've been personally impacted um it's really you can't really get that granular but i will tell you that just this morning i was talking with one of the researchers who we have funded and he was telling me that there are 40 more than 45 like somewhere between 40 and 50 kids that are enrolled in a in a in a trial that we have helped to make available so it's it's cumulatively it's thousands um but it's a lot of little things because there's so many different kinds of pediatric cancers that collectively make up um, a, a pretty big impact. Gotcha. Well, thank you guys again for our listeners. Head out to 4195 Lyric Falls Court in Loveland, Colorado. They're having a Galaxy Cookies fundraiser. It's benefiting cookies for kids cancer. It's happening September 4th and 5th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So definitely check it out. Gretchen, thank you so much. No, thank you. Uh, Jill, Daniela, thank you again. Happy baking. And I hope the turnout is incredible. Thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.